Hey, good morning, folks. Jesse here with Southern Rules Fishing, and today I'm out here at Rudy Inlet in Virginia Beach. An exciting time of year for me is the trout season. I love catching trout. It's one of my favorite fish to catch. It's somewhat easy to catch, but at times can be challenging to get the bigger ones, which is what I enjoy about it. It's a, a constant learning experience each time I'm out. Rudy Inlet is a go-to place, especially for kayak fishermen. It's just so easy to launch here. It's such a small, condensed body of water. When they're in here, they're usually in here pretty thick, and there's some pretty decent sized ones that can be found in here too. Uh, water temps are down in the mid 60s which is getting prime i am not sure where they're at in here right now so i'm going to kind of scout around today and see what we can find as you see it's kind of an overcast dreary day and there's a good chance we're going to get rained on a few times hate that over sitting home any day so anyway actually it's starting to rain right now so wish us luck and hopefully it'll be a good day on the water All right, hey folks, I casted for a while up here in the creek. I caught one nice little one, but really only had a few other hits. So I'm gonna switch over to a trolling setup. Pretty much like a half ounce, five eighths ounce jig head with just a curly tail grub on it. I think electric chicken's what I'm using. Kind of troll these ledges, see if I can pick up something that way. Just kind of speed it up a little bit, you know? Hello, baby. Well, hey, we trolled all around back in here and fished the ledges and everything. We caught a few. He got one keeper. Uh, I got a couple trout and small flounder. No keepers yet for me. So far, ain't much going on. Water temps are 66 degrees right now, so at least it's in the 60s, but I, I don't know. I still don't think it's cool enough. Need a couple more weeks. Anyway, that's what's up. I got a little stool of them here. Mm. Little bluefish. Little chopper. All 21 inches. Heck yeah, I got one just like that too. How much was it? Uh, 19 maybe? Yeah, I just pulled a 21 up. <laughs> Heck yeah, bro. I'm super excited. Hell yeah, man. Thirty inches. That makes you wonder what it is. It just turns them on like that's a trout, man. That's the way it is. It's like not much, and then boom. I think it just moved. Like it moved in a spool. It just got a <laughs> They're all schoolies. There should be some big ones underneath of them. All right, folks, Jesse here. I have to admit, it's been an incredibly fun morning. Bite started off slow, but when we got out here to Lake Wesley, uh, it's just been incredible out here. I caught one that's 21 inches. I got another one at 19, um, and the bite is continuing. Trying to get some bigger ones. Uh, we saw a gentleman in a boat hook one. It was a 27 inches, one of the biggest trout I've seen caught out here. So they're in here. Got to figure out where they are and what they want. So we're just going to keep on fishing for them.
But hey, folks, this is literally the ultimate lazy man's fishing. Pretty much all I'm doing is trolling. I got this one here set up, quarter ounce jig head, paddle tail on it, running probably about 10 feet. And I got this one here set up with a uh, half ounce, and it's running a little bit deeper. Pretty much just paddling around out here, catching fish, sometimes two at a time, so pretty easy. That's 15. 14, yeah. Well, we're gonna try out here in the inlet a little bit around these jetty rocks and stuff, give it a shot. As you see, it's not too rough out here, so I don't know, maybe there was some bigger trout out here. Oh, it's a flounder. Ooh, hey folks, we're headed back in towards Owl Creek now. We went outside the inlet, tried out there along the jetty rocks, didn't really get much. A couple small specks and a flounder. And kind of just trolling our way back in now. Uh, I want to give this back area one more good shot before I call it a day. I'm determined to catch some in Owl Creek, so I don't know. We'll see what happens. Guy. At least there's something in here. Oh, he's got sea lice on him. <laughs> 